Okay, now this, as most enthusiasts amongst you will already know firmly, is a piece of labradorite. Now this effect that you're seeing as I'm moving it gingerly around in my hand is known as labradorescence or sometimes labradorization. What is going on here? Okay, so to break this down mildly academically, labradorite contains multiple thin layers of what are known as lamellae within the crystal lattice. Now, these layers have slightly different refractive indices, which means they bend light in different ways. When the light enters the mineral as you move it around, it interacts with these layers, creating these interesting interference patterns. Now, this interaction results in the display of vivid and iridescent colours that often present as blues and greens and flashes of gold or orange and hopefully sometimes pink, which is terribly sought after. Now, the specific colours observed depend largely on the thickness and the overall orientation of the lamellae and the angle of that light. This optical effect is most pronounced when the mineral is viewed at a very specific angle relative to the direction of the lamellae. So labradorization or labradorescence in labradorite specifically, as this phenomenon does actually extend out more broadly to other minerals, exemplifies the fascinating interplay between the mineral's internal structure and the incident light, providing this wonderful, compelling subject for scientific inquiry and also the aesthetic appreciation within the field of mineralogy, as well as optical physics.